There are so many different pod companies out there, but in this video, I wanted to compare just two, Merch by Amazon and Redbubble. What is the key difference between the two and why would a combination of both of them create the perfect print-on-demand company? Before I get into it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I really, really wanna to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I feel like you can help me do that, so please hit that subscribe button, and I wanna get straight to the point, so let's just, let's just get right into this video. The main reason for this video is I was researching what it was like to be a customer in the print-on-demand world. What was their journey like? What was the experience like? And this led me into researching a whole bunch about Merch by Amazon and then a whole bunch about Redbubble. And I want to share those findings with you. So the main two differences between Redbubble and Merch by Amazon is that Merch by Amazon is customer centric and Redbubble is seller centric. Now I know, I know, I know. There are tons of differences between the two companies and this is just one, but in my opinion and for the sake of this video, this is a major, major difference that I want to discuss with you. Well, firstly, what does it actually mean to be customer centric? And according to superoffice.com, customer centric is an approach to doing business that focuses on providing a positive customer experience, both at the point of sale and after the sale in order to drive and gain a competitive advantage. In other words, give the customer an incredible experience and they will come back for more. Give the customer a bad experience and not only will they not come back for more, but they'll start talking badly about your company to all their friends on social media or whoever and you'll start losing business the longer it goes on. So, why is Amazon customer centric and Redbubble not? Well, let's start with Amazon. If any of you have shopped on Amazon, I'm sure you know the answer to this. Regardless, I'm just going to list a few reasons. Amazon Prime, you've got Amazon's cheap prices, you've got their incredible customer service. If you ever have a problem, you can email, you can chat, you can call, right? And they handle it straight away. And I've got my fair share of stories regarding Amazon's customer service. I can't even count the number of times where I've had to complain and they're like, you know, just keep the item here's your money back, we apologize. Or they've said something along the lines of, we're very sorry here, have a free month of Prime. And I'm just like, this is amazing customer service. In fact, the free month of Prime got so out of hand, I had eight months of free Prime built up. And now I'm not the type of person to complain the whole time, but like if an item is like three or four days late when you have Prime, it's just a simple email and they reply straight away with like a, a candid kind of generic email being like, we're very sorry, here's a free month. And if you're even, if, if, if that annoys you and you're like, well, I'm sorry, I don't want a free month, I want some form of conversation, you just have to chat to them and then they'll talk you through it. So that is a huge, huge aspect of why they're such a customer centric business. In fact, look at this chart, right? This chart shows the trust score of, you know, some of the most famous biggest companies, Amazon's trust score is 99. That's insane, 99. I'm, I've never even heard of that before. And that is literally because Amazon's sole focus is the customer is so important for their company. And they've realized that and they know by putting the customer first, they're able to build this huge business because customers keep coming back because of the incredible experience. However, the experience for a seller selling on Merch by Amazon isn't as good. You make money based on set prices, so you don't really have control of the prices. As well as that, you have to work your way up a tier system, so you can't actually upload 500 designs in a week. Not that you could anyways, but I'm just saying if you have a lot of spare time on your hands. So that's annoying, you've got to work your way up this tier system. As well as that, there aren't that many products with Merch by Amazon, you've got a much smaller catalog of products and when it comes to print on demand that is the, the the biggest strength with print on demand that you can just put your design on a huge vast vast number of products so amazon doesn't really tick that box as well as that the upload process it's okay but it's cumbersome it's timely it's not very pretty Redbubble, on the other hand, is quite seller focused. You've got so many metrics there, you can control the prices, you have tons of products that you can upload onto from socks to bags to t-shirts to anything, literally, there's so many products. And as well as that, there is no limit on the number of uploads you can do. So you can literally sit there and upload 500 designs in a day if you have the time. So that, on, on, that, on that sense, 
that is just amazing for a seller. And as well as that, the upload process, it's also a bit cumbersome, but it's intuitive. It's quite intuitive. So when you upload, you can select the different sizes for all the different products and look, it's, it's quite good. Once you get the hang of it, it, it is quite good. But for the customer, well, it's not so great. I mean, you have high prices and I know that you guys are in control of the prices, but you base those prices on the base price of the product and Redbubble's base prices are quite expensive. As well as that, you don't have the best customer service. It's okay, but it's not the best customer service. It doesn't even come close to Amazon. As well as that, you don't have the best shipping times. And the worst part is it's kind of an ugly platform. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, that's a personal taste and you're right, it is. But based on my history and my knowledge with copywriting and conversion rates and getting sales on Amazon, on Shopify, on Facebook, on lots of platforms, the Redbubble platform is not that pretty and it's not that high converting, especially the landing pages. So the landing page is basically the product page, the page that the t-shirt or the sticker is being sold on. It's a bit of an ugly page. It's quite a mess. You've got tons of information shown at you. So in that sense, it's not the best for the seller. Now, that doesn't mean Redbubble is rubbish or Amazon is superior. All it means is they have two different business models. Amazon's business model is the customer and Redbubble's business model is the seller. Whilst you might be thinking, ooh, I'm a seller, so I should go on Redbubble because, you know, I want that better experience. You've got to think further down the line. A customer's journey doesn't end when you click buy, when they click buy. The customer's journey, in fact, never ends because the aim of a customer is to give them such a good experience that they come back and buy again and again and again. So if your business model is, you know, one single customer and that's it, then, you know, that's fine. But if your business model is to get repeat customers and to build a reputation for repeat customers and good customer service, then your business model should be focused on the customer, not on yourself as the seller. So let me ask you this question. Do you think you will get repeat customers if the platform you are selling on is customer centric or not customer centric? Now, the ideal platform would be a merge of the two, a Redbubble, Amazon merch combination. That would be the, that would be the best couple in history. That would be like Angelino Dan. I don't know. I, I don't know this gossipy kind of news. Anyways, that would be the best, best combination of the two companies. Anyway, look, this is all just my opinion. Well, the, the, the fact that Amazon's customer centric and Redbubble isn't is not really my opinion, but my opinion on what it takes to have a successful company, what it takes to have repeat customers and what a customer would prefer. I guess that is my opinion. So let me know in the comments down below what your opinion is. And also let me know down in the comments if you started print on demand or you're going to start print on demand, which platform will you use and what would you want? Would you would you want to have a customer centric platform or not? And before you start or do anything, put yourself in your buyer's shoes and ask yourself, what would I want as a buyer? I know what I would want. I would want Prime. I would want next day delivery and I would want good prices. But like I said, put yourself in what you think your target buyer is and then base it around that. Model your business around that person. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.